I'm going to show you how to make a bib. Now, you take a t-shirt or you can have a, you could take a sweatshirt and do the same thing. Um, the sweatshirt material will fray more, so you might have to do a little bit of sewing, but a t-shirt is lighter weight and since I live in Florida, I choose to do the t-shirt. Real simple. Okay. You take a t-shirt. If it's for a baby, you of course will use a smaller t-shirt. You lay it down flat. You start cutting the sleeves off, but don't cut on the inner portion of where it's already sewn. Cut on the outer portion. So that way, this will maintain and you don't have to sew it yourself. So you just take this and cut the edge. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's for utilitarian purposes only. I also don't like the plastic or whatever they use behind those baby bibs. They're hard and sometimes don't smell very nice. Preferably you want to use 100% organic cotton, but any t-shirt will do. Again, if you find your child's head is really big, you can cut out the hole bigger, but I usually keep it this way because it'll prevent any fraying. The length is up to you. I'm going to go here to the end of the picture, so you just cut across. You take this side where the bottom of the sleeve meets the point where you just cut off at because you need an opening and you just cut that straight up and down on the edge. Same on the other side. You can leave it long in the back and long in the front. Okay, kids sometimes throw things behind them. Okay, as you see here, you can leave it long in the back and long in the front, or you can turn it over to make it look like an actual perfect bib. And cut around again all the way around and down so that you'll only have this part which goes around the child's neck and covers their whole front so it's up to you whether you want to leave the back or whether you want to get rid of the back and use it as what a real bib looks like 